well hello and welcome to another video and in this video we're gonna be talking about how to capture an image from your uh, device's camera for the sake of this video once the uh, once we capture an image we'll set that to an image view but you can also upload that image uh, to your server according to whatever your apps uh, app is need uh, apps needed um so before we capture an image we'll need a permission camera permission from the user so if the um, app has the camera permission we'll straight away open the camera and uh, if it doesn't have we will have to request the camera permission so let's get on with this i have here an empty android project so first we'll need an easy permissions library so um let me go to the gradle file and down here what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do a couple of things once uh one is i'll, I'll copy the um, easy permission library and the other thing is to integrate the view binding so um i don't need to explain each and everything here because it's just, just a pretty straightforward thing you should know already and if you don't know you can check out my previous videos on this channel um okay so the app is built now we can close this and in the um first let's let's build the ui uh it's not gonna be a, a great ui i'll just have a button and an image view so we can have um button and we'll have text equals to capture image we can give it an id id um button capture and another thing would be image view um sorry about that um image view um gonna fix it to a uh, uh, height and without I'm, I'm, I'm gonna fix it to 300 dp uh, each so we can have a square um, box on the screen so now let's give them a constraint um button capture i want it to the center of the screen so horizontally in parent top of the parent and in in the case of image view definitely horizontal on the screen and um top of this um image capture uh okay i think it's slightly um misbalanced isn't it um what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna cancel this um uh, to constraints and i'm just gonna give it constraint to horizontal in parent again yep there it is and um what we can do is have it a bit lower yeah that's it um now uh, we will need two functionalities first is to check if the application has the internet permission and before that um sorry camera permissions my bad before that we'll need to provide permissions in the man manifest file itself so um uses permissions camera that's it um, uh, we can close the manifest file and uh, for the sake of checking if the um, app has the camera permission uh, we can create a function uh, name has I'm um, sorry mm, private I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna keep it private private fun uh, has camera permission and inside this function um, we're gonna use easy permissions library so <clears throat> um, easy permissions easy permissions dot um, has permissions um, it will require context so if we are in the activity so we can just pass this um, uh, Android manifest permissions camera that's fine um, and yes pretty much that's it and the second thing is we're gonna request the permissions so we can create uh, another function which is um, private fun request um, camera permission and inside this function we're gonna request um, the actual um, permission for the camera and first we'll, we'll check if we if it has the um camera permission um then uh, we'll just return it return from here and in the um we don't need an else block but yeah that's fine 
Um, but yeah, it has to return the boolean. Um, well, we can do it, we can um, remove this curly braces and it will automatically return the boolean. So if it has uh, the camera permission, we'll just return uh, from the function. And uh, if it doesn't have, we'll request the permissions by writing easy permissions dot request permissions. And in here, first uh, will be the context. In, in this case it is the host um, then we'll, we'll need a, ra a rational to tell the user why we need the permission so um, you need camera permission to use this app or whatever and then um, we need uh, some sort of request code we can have 100 um, we can create um, a constant for this one ideally but for now it's not a huge application it's just a demo so I'm just gonna keep it a uh, hard-coded otherwise I would have definitely uh, went with the um, a, a constant variable for this uh, request code and the last thing we need to pass is Android manifest permission dot camera that's it now in the main activity on create we are first gonna check uh, oh first thing we need um, view binding so private late in it bar binding binding um, binding equals to activity main binding dot inflate and layer inflator then in set content view we're gonna write binding dot root uh, binding dot um, root that's it and here we'll check if um, it has oh okay first we need to call the request permission here so request permissions then it will ask for the permission and then if it has the permission um, what we're gonna do we are just gonna go and uh, write a function for open the camera so binding dot button capture dot set on click listener and inside this uh, I'm gonna start activity for result start activity uh, it would be easier if I if I write it this way. So well, intent equals to intent. This um, and what I want is a media store. Media store dot um, image capture. That's the one. And yes, I think. Um, if I am I forgetting something um, oh yes um, I, I need to pass um, no I think I think that's it um, uh, we don't we don't need I think we don't need this one uh, we don't need to pass the uh, context in this case and then we can start activity for result that's it and we can pass the intent and the request code um, in this case I'm gonna keep it 101 because we have 100 request code for this um, camera permissions um, for, so anyway um, what I'm I, I think I'm forgetting something is um, the on request um, granted and on request denied uh, for the permissioning so yeah what this is gonna do is this is gonna open the camera but we still have to um, um handle the request uh, so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna override um on permission granted uh for which i'll need to uh, implement easy permissions callbacks easy permissions dot permission callbacks and there it is uh, it, it directly shows us the impl uh, implementation of member functions we're gonna implement them so on permission granted what you need to do is nothing so you can just um, remove this and if the permission is denied you can check if sorry uh, if easy permissions start uh, some permissions uh, permanently denied so some permissions permanently denied um, this and perms uh, perms will be the array of permissions denied which you get in here there it is and inside this block, uh, what you want is to open a setting dialog, which will, which will take you to the um, settings of the applications. So app settings dialog dot um, builder this dot build dot show. That's it. And else 
um, in the as block you just have to call the request camera permissions again so that will handle the permissions for you um, and the last thing I need is on permission result uh, we, we need to override um, on request permission result there it is and in in here uh, you're gonna have to write easy permission start um, on request permission result the request code permission and grant result um, and the last thing you need is um, this which will be a receivers um, so yeah that's it um, the uh, permission is now finally handled so let's get back to the uh, camera bits uh, so here we have uh, with this intent it will open up the camera so now how you can uh, get the actual captured image from that camera so for that you're gonna have to um, override another method which is on um, uh, activity result or something like that um, on on result um, on activity results that it is so in here you're gonna um, have to check if the re result code uh, is equals to what we have assigned uh, so if if um, request code um, equals to 100 and result code is uh, equals to um, result dot okay what I'm gonna do is um, simply uh, I, I need um, an image bitmap so well image um, bitmap equals to we get the image data in data which is nullable so, so you have to write question mark dot extras extras which is also nullable so you have to write a question mark again and dot get the um, key will be uh, data here and you, you want this as a bitmap and yes uh, you might be wondering why I'm getting all this uh, this sort of uh, uh, what you can say um, um, recommendations of the code is because I'm trying a, a new plugin from github which is github copilot which is an ai technology which you can have which, which you can install in your vs code in your in your android studio uh, whichever id it supports so I, I do highly recommend you to um go to the github pilot and explore it because it's a cool um a tool ai tool which you you, you can use as your pairing pro uh, pair, uh, pair programming buddy um but yeah for initial basis i won't recommend you to use that because it 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 will restrict you to explore things because it will straight away um give you the code for something that you uh, you might look into the google if you don't know about that but yeah if, if you will skip the process of learning in that uh process if you if you if you use github copilot uh, but if you are already an intermediate developer or or if you want to explore this you can straight away go to github copilot i think it is free for students if you are a student and verified um, your github account as a student you can use it for free um, otherwise you have to pay for something i don't really know about that but i'm a student so i have uh, access to it for free so i'm using it i'm i'm, I'm actually exploring it and so far it's it's pretty good tool um so yeah that's why i'm getting this all um, um recommendations of what should i uh, write next but yeah anyway binding um uh now now that we have the image in our uh bitmap image bitmap uh, variable so what we can do is uh we can write binding dot um image view dot sat uh, image bitmap oh, sorry sad image bitmap and we can pass image bitmap here oh, sorry that's it um, yeah that's it I think we are done with uh, everything here so we can launch the application and see if it is running uh, the way we want so let's launch it yeah I think the launch is succeed let's check out so yeah it straight away asked me for the um, camera permission as you can see so I'm, go I'm just gonna go and give the camera permission and I'll click on the capture image it will open up a camera as expected 
yep it is opening up um so it, it is i'm using the emulator so it's not gonna show me um the actual camera obviously it's just a um default uh view what you get in the camera when you open the camera in your emulator so i'm just gonna click on capture and it will capture this image it will give us option to retake uh to select this image or to reject this image i'm just gonna go and select this image and it should give me the uh image in the well it didn't it didn't give me the image in the um image view so let's see what happens here so let me log the image view um so what i'm gonna do is log um dot Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I might have uh, messed up with this request code because we have request code 101 for the camera and 100 for 100 for the uh, camera permission. So I messed up there. So yeah, that's why I would recommend you to use um, variables here. I mean, if I had uh, a constant variable for camera permission, request code and uh, um, camera intent request code image capture request code that wouldn't have happened so yeah let's try that again um, camera capture image capture it yep there it is so yeah that was it uh, the request code that I messed up so before I move further let me have a, a companion object to have those uh, two um, const well camera permission request code equals to 100 and const 12 I'm um, sorry um, image capture request code will be um, 101 so instead of this um, I'm gonna use this one and here as well so yep and in the permission um where it was yep there it is and are we having anything else no so yeah um after changing this constants let's check the application again and see if it's running if it is i'll push the code and you will be able to find the resource um the source code for this video into the description section of this video so yeah capture image yep yep that's working fine so yeah please go and check out my github if you want uh there are a cool bunch of um, exciting projects i have done i'm working on so yep please do follow uh, me on github if please like this video and share it with your friends and please do subscribe it helps me a lot to grow the youtube channel so, yep um keep learning keep enjoying and keep coding i'll see you in the next video